Hey y'all, how about we make some slaw? We're gonna do it my way. I'm sure there's a hundred different variations out there, but I'm gonna share with you the way I do it and feel free to comment on how you do it. I'm always looking for new ideas. I'm gonna show you what I'm using. Got my head of cabbage, of course. I got some carrot. Got some Duke's mayonnaise, some vinegar, my salt and pepper. I got a pack of stevia. I don't really use sugar. But I got that wonderful Zillis chopper and I'm gonna grate my cabbage on this grater in this bowl. So first thing we're gonna do is grate the cabbage. I don't know if y'all can see this though, but I quartered my cabbage. I used my grater. I could use a food processor, but I don't have one. <laughs> so I'm gonna grate it on this. And what I do is I put my bowl down in the sink. So when I start grating, it doesn't go all over the place and it just stays in the sink. So we're going to grate this cabbage. Hey y'all, cabbage is all grated. We're going to set it to the side over here. I am going to use my chopper. I'm going to put a little bit of carrot in here. This Zillis chopper, it says Zillis on it right there. This is like, I know I've referenced it before. It's like 30 years old and I got it from Pampered Chef and it's still going strong. They got a newer version of it, but I don't believe it's as good. So we're going to chop some... Uh, this will add a little color to it and make it a little sweet. Okay, y'all, we're going to put our carrots into our cabbage. Then we'll add some pink Himalayan sea salt in here. That's my favorite. Gives everything a really, really good flavor. Much, much better than regular salt. Got pepper meal. You know what we're gonna do. We're gonna pepper the hell out of it. I'm working on getting me a t-shirt that says that. Can't ever have enough fresh ground pepper. Sorry for this bowl wobbling. I'm trying to crop it up so y'all can see. All right. I think that's enough. Now this is the way my nanny taught me to do it. So then we're gonna take about a cap full of just white vinegar. Toss it in there. She used sugar. I don't use sugar. So I've got this little stevia in the raw pack. That's what I'm gonna use for my sugar. And you just, I just take a pack of that and sprinkle it all over. And of course, the final ingredient is, you know it. Duke's, Duke's mayonnaise. Add as much as you want, <laughs> as creamy as you want. I was surprised, I've made slaw before, grated, about and grated my fingernail in it. I didn't this time, I was careful with it. And that's basically it. You mix it all together. I'm gonna let it sit in the refrigerator for just a little bit. And you got slaw. There's a lot of variations. Sometimes I have put onion in it. I didn't this time. We're going to have uh, hot dogs tonight, so I'll have onions on the side. Then uh, there's enough of this. I can. There's only two of us, so I can eat later this week. All right. It's done. I'm going to do a little sample taste test here for you. See how good it is. I usually got, I got it in my hair again. I always get it in my hair. I know, I need a haircut, but I gotta wait till after Halloween. So here we go, guys. Mmm. That's gonna taste good on some hot dogs tonight. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Let me know your variations, too, in the comments. Mm, I just spit slaw. <laughs> hope y'all have a good night. Appreciate y'all watching my videos. Bye.